Hello and welcome to the Wedding Zone at Fotokina 2018. More precisely, we are in the Wedding Zone studio. And if you take a very careful look at what you see, you might notice that the look that we have created in the studio is amazing. I had people here at the booth saying, you did something. How, how did you create that look with the light and the, uh, the beams in the background? And I said, there's a secret to it. And the person behind the secret to the perfect light in the studio is right here with me, Mr. Dedo Weigert, um, the founder of Dedo Weigert Film and the mastermind behind film light for decades now that is always pushing the boundaries of what's possible and uh, the boundaries of where film light is at the moment. And you have brought something to our studio and uh, with you that is very new. What is it? So far we have, when we've gone across the boundaries with optical systems for professional lighting, that did find two times the recognition of the Oscar committee. Now we've expanded that into the world of parallel beam, parallel light, which again then opens the door to the universe of reflected light. And what we have here is a very simple example of parallel beam lighting and reflected light. Um, which can be exercised by big parallel beam projectors, which are not new, they've always existed, but we've perfected them to make them homogeneous with a far reach and a clean, defined beam, um, supposedly better than anything else that is available at the moment. But then comes a trick for our highly developed optical systems for the focusing lights, we found a little miracle. Um, if we have a light like this, which in the split position has a four degree exit angle, very narrow, mm -hmm. we now add some extra optics, and again we have four degrees. So what's the miracle? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have multiple times the light output. Okay. And that qualifies it to function at a far reach over a big distance. And it's one step to simulate natural light even in a small confined area, in a studio or even a small room. Um, so there are various parallel beam attachments. Uh, that augment the big one. The big mother is for the drama production and with the smaller lights we can enter the uh, television studios and so on. Then we have four different reflector surfaces. One that works like a mirror uh, that redirects the light. You couldn't use a mirror but this works like a mirror. And then we spread the light in different angles, and thus we can create soft light. What we uh, see here? Gentler light, and with the laser here, we can see here we're redirecting the light, here we're spreading it and covering a large area. And thus, uh, by the use of multiple reflectors, uh, we can redirect, reshape the light, give it a different character, um, and then uh, also, the use of multiple reflectors, this is a very simple version, would allow us to light an entire set with one lighting instrument. Um, the trick behind it, and, and that's difficult to understand, is that the light does not originate at the light fixture, at the instrument, but from somewhere that's way behind the light source. Virtually. Yeah, you, you elongate the outer rays mm -hmm. and where they cross, that's where the light comes from and thus the simulation of virtual light and when you reflect it then it seems to come or in effect comes from such a distance where no crane can get the light. Almost as the sun. Simulating natural light like it would come from the sun, yeah. 
just to make sure I get this straight, when you're talking about parallel light, this is light that doesn't bounce away or that doesn't uh, escape the this parallel beam, almost like a laser, right? A laser is along the same lines. Mm -hmm. It's a very narrow light. And because for a laser, the, the exit angle is less than one degree, much less, mm -hmm. uh, it has a further reach mm -hmm. because its origin is from way behind the instrument again. Okay. Um, so we're not escaping the square law, uh, double the distance quarter of the light. We're just redefining it in such a way that now our talent, our people on the set can move without any serious uh, lessening of light intensity. In yeah, okay. That's the, the square law. When a, a light is very far away, then it doesn't make a big difference if you go closer or further. But yeah. if it's really close, you have dramatic changes in light by just centimeters of movement. Yes. Okay, I understand. Um, I know this problem also from photography, where um, the, square rule, uh, the square rule of light um, is a big problem to all photographers. But if, I, if I'm shooting in natural sunlight, people can move back and forth Anywhere with no they change. Want. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then we've transferred this technology into a TV studio, where here we have a five people set that would traditionally be lit by traditional studio lights with 30 kilowatt, 30,000 watt. And here we have one LED light with a parallel beam attachment, lighting four reflectors. And in the background, we have one LED light lighting five reflectors. And that's basically the whole lighting of the people. Then we have a little bit of light on the background and a gentle light in the front to, at will, to change the light and add moods of color temperature, making it a warmer look, colder look, or gentler look, uh, just by sliding uh, a button and the total amount of light needed here only consumes 790 watt as opposed to what did you say 30 30, kilowatts 30,000 my god I know that um, in TV studios the problem is also heat because uh, either you have a big um, air conditioning or um, it gets really really hot and 750 watts is nothing yeah? and what the studio owners know the air conditioning takes double the energy of the light. So if you have 30 kilowatts of light, you need 60 nearly kilowatts of 60, 70 kilowatts of AC. climatization. And it makes a sound and uh, it's, it's yeah. a big mess. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, also it can be used together with lasers as reflected light. And that's our new toy. Now, that was uh, very impressive, but I want to take the opportunity to explain for those of you who have, uh, this was theoretical, we have a practical application right here in the studio. So let's take a look at what we have here. Over there is the light source. Here's the big parallel beam light, which one would also use for drama productions, mm -hmm. going into a large hard reflector that redirects the light mm -hmm. over to another reflector. And so from those two, uh, we, kind of make our dual key light uh, giving the character of the light and here's the one that the softbox that pours the sauce over the pudding uh, <laughs> makes it gentle smoother uh, at will and can be adjusted up down to change the character okay so technically when we go back to the characteristics it doesn't make much of a difference anymore if we go back and forth because we have that simulated uh, a light from the sun uh, without the square law. So this gives us freedom of movement and a very beautiful light. Thank you. So you have heard it. This is the, the new thing in, in light. It, it feels to me, I'm not a, a specialist, but once again that you are pushing the, the boundaries there of what uh, uh, light is for film, for TV productions. And um, I can just thank you for creating such a beautiful light here for us in the studio. And I'm, um, I am looking forward to meeting you again in two years when you will be redefining light again. <laughs> Thank you very okay. much, Mr. Weigert. Thank, Thank you, you very much for, for watching and uh, check it out. Amazing light. Thank you.